Jack, are you all right, mate? You gave us a real scare leaving the hospital like that. I suppose you had your reasons, but the thing is, I can't leave you out here. I know you probably want to be on your path, but if we don't get you back to the hospital, you could get real crook. Come on, mate, look. Whatever it is, we can sort it out. Want to go home? Well, of course you do. You know, won't be too much longer before you can. But right now, we, we need to get you back. Back to the hospital. I'm going home. You can go. I don't know that that's such a good idea. I said you can go. He's inside. I couldn't get him to come down to the hospital with me. That's fine. Thanks for the call, mate. Good luck. Hey. I can't stay here, Jack. Yes, I can. I live here. Come on, you know what I mean. You need to be back in hospital. I'm not going. Jack, I know you're hurting, mate. And I'm sorry about not understanding this morning. I really am, but... That medication you're on has got to be taken at the right time or your body's going to reject that liver. It's as simple as that. Whatever happens, happens. Jack... I'm not going, OK? I'm staying here. Hey, Jack, I'm, I'm trying to understand this. Really, I am, but I just don't get it. You don't have to. This is not a game. This is life and death. Do you understand that? Yes. So, what are you doing? I told you. I need to feel close to her. In this space, these things, they're all I have left. You talk like you've given up. I haven't you? Well, granted, they're running out of time. I'm oh, running out of time, Dad. Come on. It's been over a week. And like Rachel said, the chances of them even surviving the crash in the first place aren't great. Hey, mate, bigger miracles have happened, OK? Look at you, for example. I mean, the chances of finding you a compatible donor are next to nil. Oh, so now you're going to tell me that I owe it to Peter not to block. Jack, you owe it to you. And to your wife. I have tried to stay strong, Dad. I've hoped and I've prayed for every single moment of every day. But there's only so long that you can keep it going. Well, you know what? I don't accept that. And I can tell you right now, mate, Martha wouldn't have accepted it either. She would have dragged you back to that hospital by now if she was here. And, and that's exactly what I'm going to do if you don't wake up to yourself. I mean, for God's sake, Jack. I've told you what I'm doing, OK? If you don't like it, just get out! Hey, Jack, Jack, please, I'm your father, OK? And if you think that I'm going to just stand here and watch you die... Just go, Dad, just go! And what do you think the searchers are going to be looking for? Well, like I said before, they could be searching in completely the wrong area. The wreckage, that's what. Kim's right. They'll probably be searching for us by air. This is our best chance of being spotted. Don't you get it? No one is going to spot us by air because no one is searching for us. And the longer we stay here, the weaker we get, the harder it is for us to go when we do decide to actually go. Hey, and you mean if we decide to go? No, I mean when. It's the smart thing to do. Even you're going to get that eventually. And what is that supposed to mean? Listen, kid, I reckon I've got a bit more experience in these situations than you. Yeah, well, you could have fooled me. Oh, stop it. Just stop it. How is this meant to help? Aren't we meant to be in this together? OK. There's a way to solve this. We vote. Majority rules. So whoever thinks we should leave, put up your hand. We've been here for days and nothing's changed. So maybe the best thing is to try something different. I'm sorry, but I want to go home. OK, let's get our gear together and get going. Do you want one? No, and I don't think you should be having one either. Rachel, it's the middle of the afternoon. What's going on? Well, it sounds like you're giving me another lecture. 
you think I want to have to say something? I don't know. You seem to be making a habit of it. Rachel, I'm worried about oh, you. Don't be. Well, how can I not be? I don't think you're dealing with this situation very well. How should I be dealing with it? I don't know. Yeah, that's right. Help. You don't know. Last time I checked, I was the only one between us with a degree in psychiatry. Well, it's obviously not doing you much good, though, Oh, sorry. Is, is that in your professional opinion, is it? Doctor? Well, what is it? What am I doing? Is it transference, projection, disassociation? You know, you know what I think? I would be dealing with this a whole lot better if I had a little bit of support and understanding I from am you. I'm supporting Now, why you. does it feel like you are? Because you're angry. Yeah, and why shouldn't I be angry? Every time you've needed me, I've been there for you. And the one time that I need something back from you, you're too busy judging me and telling me what to do. I'm sorry if it sounds yeah. like that, but... Do you think Rachel's going to be okay? Yeah, love, I do. I just think she needs a little bit of time. Mm. What about you? Yeah, I'm okay. I've got to be for him, you know. Hello, <laughs> mm -hmm. Tony. How's Jack? I can finish that. Do you have a qualified doctor? Leah, I'm so sorry. You had a line before. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know that you've been there for me. But just because I'm telling you things that you don't want to hear does not mean that I'm not there for you. I know that. I know. I'm, I, I should never have spoken to you like that. You're a really good friend. And I am exhausted. <laughs> and I need I need to sleep. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do after you know how sorry I am. Do you wanna make your caramel tea? No, 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 no. You, you've helped me so much. Why don't you go and sit down and put your feet up and just relax? You don't have to worry about me anymore. for over a week. You've given up, haven't you? Why not? Martha's okay. She is. All of them are. Now their time is running out. What's happened? Have you found something? This is never easy. That's why I wanted to come down and tell you personally. Tell us what. Will they hear the words they feared tomorrow on Home and Away?